Governor is Gavin Newsom. He's sending residents in his state inflation relief checks of up to a thousand and fifty bucks. Larry Elder with us this morning. What do you think of that? Uh, uh, <laughs> inflation relief checks. It's called Stuart buying votes. Yes. We have the highest state income taxes. We have onerous regulations. You're just talking to a refinery expert. My brother used to work at a refinery. You should see some of the regulations that jack up the price of fuel. Uh, highest gasoline tax in the nation. Uh, we've gotten rent checks, relief checks on top of the federal checks. That's why the cost of labor has gone up. And then after they jack up the economy, they then give you some money to deal with the uh, adverse consequences of, of what they've done to jack up the economy. I mean, you know, Stuart... <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> beam me up. <laughs> I'm going to be, become a peace ambassador. I hear there's money in that. <laughs> let's, let's get serious for a second. Let's suppose that President Biden does not run for election in 2024, stays out of the race. Do you right. think that the Democrats will dump Kamala Harris? You know, Stuart, look at me and my baby brown libertarian eyeballs. I will bet my house that they will not dump Kamala Harris. Black females are the most loyal part of the Democratic base, and they will have a meltdown. They won't vote Republican. They just won't vote. They'll be so angry. Whenever Kamala Harris is criticized in the black media, they rush to her defense. They believe the criticism is both sexist and racist. And if they drop kick her, especially for a white person like Pete Buttigieg, forget about it. They are stuck with her. If Biden doesn't run in 2024, Kamala Harris will be the standard bearer. Mark my words. Well, what about Gavin Newsom? I mean, he wants to be the president, and he's making noises as if he's going to run in 2024. I, I don't think there's any way that a California liberal can win a national election. What do you say to that? I think you're right about that, but you're also right that Gavin Newsom's wanted to be president ever since the third grade. Of course he wants to be president, but he knows what I know, which is if he is perceived as pushing aside the first black female vice president uh, in favor of yet another white man, he cannot win. He knows what I know. So he's very quietly letting people know he wants to run, laying the groundwork for 2028, but he's not going to run in 2024. He knows better. Well, but, but do you think that Kamala Harris running for the presidency could win? I do not, but that's totally irrelevant. The question is, what do black females think? And she is raging popular among black females. I saw a poll that put her popularity among black females at over 70 percent. She's underwater in the nation, that's for sure. But black female voters love her, love her, love her. And if they are perceived, if they perceive her to be dis disrespected, pushed aside, believe me, they will sit on their hands and will not come out to vote. This is one of the more interesting interviews we've ever had with Larry Elder in California. Larry, that was good. Thanks very much for joining us, fellow. We'll, we'll see you again soon.